Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about benign liver tumors. So benign tumors, as you know, are the tumors which are not cancerous tumors. So they don't spread to different parts of our body and are not usually life-threatening. So there are three main varieties of benign liver tumors. Number one, hemangiomas. Number two, focal nodular hyperplasia or FNH. And number three are called adenomas. And we're going to discuss each of them in a bit more detail. So hemangiomas, they are the most common benign tumors of the liver. They come in different sizes, very, very tiny to slightly bigger, two or three centimeters in size. They are present in about one to 5% of the population. They're totally harmless. They are a collection of blood vessels, abnormal blood vessels. So if quite a few blood vessels, they join together and they become bigger than normal. So looking at the liver, if you look at the liver with a hemangioma in it, it looks like it's got blood blisters in it. Vast majority of them don't require any treatment. Occasionally, if the hemangiomas become very large, say several centimeters in size, then they can cause discomfort. And in that case, they may require treatment like either blocking a blood vessel that is going to the blood, to the hemangioma, supplying the hemangioma with a catheter inside the blood vessel or surgically removing that part of the liver which contains the hemangioma but extremely uncommon for these uh, tumors to require treatment. They are very easily diagnosed either on ultrasound scan or a CT scan or MRI scan. If someone is diagnosed with a hemangioma of the liver, rest assured they do not have to worry about it much. The second common type of benign liver tumor is called focal nodular hyperplasia or FNH. Slightly less common than hemangiomas, but more common than adenomas. They basically look like a lump in the liver, so liver starts getting a few lumps in it. It typically has got a very pale center, which is a scar tissue in the middle of it. It's completely harmless. It does not come to any harm, does not cause you any problems and uh, does not require any treatment. It's easily diagnosed on ultrasound scan, CT scan, or an MRI scan. Again, if somebody is ever diagnosed with FNH or focal nodular hyperplasia, rest assured they do not have to worry about it. It's not going to cause them any long-term problems. Last but not the least, the most uncommon benign tumor of the liver are called adenomas. They are more common in women as compared to men especially women between the age of 20 and 50. The reason is because that is the age when they have hormones in their body. So they are more common in women who are taking hormone replacement like oral contraceptive pill or HRT, hormone replacement treatment, especially if it's rich in estrogen. And that is what stimulates these tumors to grow. Occasionally these tumors can rupture or they can bleed and very very uncommonly they can change into cancer. Main treatment for these tumors is to withdraw the hormones. So if the woman is taking oral contraceptive pill or hormone replacement treatment, it needs to be stopped. And vast majority of these will stop growing and will not come to any harm. If, however, they bleed or they rupture or they're changing into cancer or they become so large that they're causing problem from the pressure itself because the size of the tumor, then surgically they might need to be removed. They're diagnosed on ultrasound scan, CT scan or MRI scan. So those were the three main tumors of the liver which are benign in nature. Vast majority of these tumors, if ever diagnosed, will not come to any harm, will not require any treatment. Very occasionally, some of these tumors, especially adenomas, can have complications, can grow to a very large size and will require treatment like surgery. I hope you found this video informative and until next time, I see you soon.